Hi, I'm Elga Valoverta, and on this video I'll check out the Friedman and JJ Jr. tube amplifier. Well, yes indeed, the Friedman JJ Jr. Uh, Jerry Cantrell's signature amplifier's little brother, so to say. Uh, full tube amp, two EL84 power tubes and three 12AX7 preamp tubes. Two channels and uh, the distorted or overdrive channel has two modes. So, uh, uh, without further ado, let's go through the sounds I used on the song you heard just a while ago, hopefully. Uh, I wrote the, the song specifically for this video and inspired by this fantastic amplifier. Uh, the clean sound, I used my uh, Tokai Telecaster with a Seymour Duncan Antique series pickups and uh, I had the bright switch on the left. The clean channel has only one knob volume and a three position bright switch. I think that's all you need because you know it sounds amazing you know you don't really have to tweak that. But anyway uh, it sounds like this. <laughs> And then the middle position, which I believe it's the like neutral. It sounds a bit dark, uh, at least for my taste, when both pick up, so I'm gonna switch to the bridge. Like that, and then the on the right position, um, it's the second brightest. Sounds like this. Okay, cool. That was the clean channel. And what I like about this this channel that uh, when you turn the volume up, you get a really nice uh, breakup happening. So uh, let's see what it does. Let's put the 
switch into middle, uh, bridge pickup, and uh, here we go. That was a clean channel, very simple to use, but sounds really good. Okay, then let's switch to the overdrive channel. And I also switch guitar. Mm -hmm. uh, and that's a foot switch, so here we go. And the guitar I used on the song is uh, my ESP Japan Custom Shop with EMG 57 and 66 pickups. Both guitars uh, are in drop, were in drop detuning. Uh, the channel has two modes. I think the, the basic, classic BE and then the JBE mode, which I think comes from Jerry Cantrell, which is a bit more saturated and uh, modern if you will. But uh, let's check out the, the BE mode uh, on the song. You heard the BE mode guitar is on the left and the JBE mode on the left. And uh, while I recorded the left guitar, I filled myself. All right, cool. So it sounds like this. <laughs> Nice, nice. Uh, I really love the openness of of this uh, this channel. And uh, <coughs> as you can hear, my see on the picture, my EQ is is pretty pretty standard. I think that's the sweet spot, at least with this guitar and for my taste. But uh, obviously, it's you know up to you. What's yours? I encourage you to try this amp and figure it out. Okay, let's switch to the BE channel. You may hear a slight volume drop because it uh, it squeezes the the sound a bit, compresses or whatever, you know. <laughs> Like that, <clears throat> and uh, so yeah, it's you can get anything out from this amp, and and uh, as all Friedman's, I think, because Dave Friedman started as a uh, hot rudder modifier for plexi JZM style British amp, so I think these these are just like great if you're into that. British style world with a tone that really cuts you through. Cool. Uh, the lead sound I used on the song, I used the BE mode, boosted with an overdrive, and it was my trusty old bus SD1. So uh, without the overdrive, it sounds like this. So I didn't touch any EQ on the song. So. Uh, Everything is, is, is the same, and uh, without the SD1, it's like this. With the SD. It's just, you know, so, uh, I mean, the solo is pretty much 
improvised, but I think it was something like this. <laughs> something like that cool so yeah works great with uh with pedals takes pedals great uh both channels clean distorted overdrives distortions uh whatever you can use the clean channel as a pedal platform channel uh, works works really great on that too <coughs> <coughs> sorry and then the the ba back plan panel as you see on the picture it has a, a uh, effects loop basic uh, you know channel switching and then it has a direct a direct XLR output which is a uh, speaker emulated it's it's one sound so I guess it's based on at least based on the manual it's a classic microphone with a classic cabinet whatever that may be it, it sounds sounds great uh, for this video uh, well, I used to show reactive load because that's what I'm used to. But uh, and, and the cabinet from the Sur was a uh, Sur 4x12 with uh, Celestine Greenbacks mic with a classic SM57 and Royer 121. But yeah, anyway, the 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 direct uh, speaker emulated out is great. But you need to use a load with this amp, so it either a load box or a cabinet but then if you want want to you can you know uh, have your XLR cable maybe directly to the mixer or your recording interface from the XLR out and it has a uh, like angled or or direct there's a switch which you can see so kind of that you know the the classic way to mic things if it's angled it's more in your face more treble and and so on uh, and then it has a switch for 8 or 16 ohms but yeah really good versatile amplifier and that's about it i like it i bet you like it too when you try it out all right hey thanks for watching until next time cheers <laughs>